All right then my friends, so in this video I'd like to create some kind of loading widget that is going to show every time we're doing something in the app that takes time to get some kind of response. For example, when we sign up or register and we click that button, we have to communicate with Firebase in order to get a response. Now that takes maybe a second or two or something like that and in that time I want to show the user that we're actually doing something, we're loading. So we're going to have a loading widget that shows some kind of spinner. And to create that spinner, we're going to be using a package for Flutter called Flutter Spin Kit. Now, to read about this, just scroll down. And by the way, I will leave this link down below. But you can scroll down and we can see all of the different types of spinners that we can use. So we're going to use one of these on some kind of brown background to show the user while stuff is loading. Now, the first thing we need to do is add this to our PubSpec file. So you need to copy that right here. And then we want to take that and we want to put it into our pubspec.yaml file right here. I've already done that below provider. So press save when you've done that or control S and VS Code is going to go out and get that package for you. So now we can create this loading widget using that package. So what I'm going to do is create this loading widget inside the shared folder because after all, this widget is going to be shared between different widgets inside our application. It's going to be on the signing form, also on the register form, and maybe in other areas in the future as well. So let's create a loading.dart file inside the shared folder. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paste in this code from my GitHub repo. I am going to walk through it. I just didn't see the point in wasting your time me writing out this from scratch. So I've imported material at the top and also Flutter spin kit right here. Now, I've created this stateless widget with a name of loading and inside the build method, all I've done is create a container and this has a color of brown. This color property is the background color of containers. And then we have a child property with a center widget so that the loader is going to be in the center of the screen. And inside that we have a child property and this is the spinner. So I've said spin kit chasing dots, but you could use one of the other different spinners if you wanted to. Remember, we saw quite a few on the documentation for them. And in here we have two properties to set the color of the spinner and also the size, 50 pixels. So I've said brown and 50. So that is all there is to it. Just a simple spinner in a container centralized. And now what we can do is import this widget into other widgets when we need to use it. So what I'm going to do is open up again the sign in page. So inside screen, let's go to authenticate and then sign in. And the first thing I want to do is at the top, create a bit of state and it's going to be a Boolean and I'm going to call this loading and I'm going to set it equal to false at first. Now, the way I'd like to do this is whenever loading is true, instead of showing all of this stuff down here in the scaffold, I'm going to show the loading widget. Now by default, it's going to be false to begin with, so we won't show the loading widget, but if this ever becomes true, then we'll show the loading widget instead, okay? Now, how do we set this to be true and when do we want to set it to true? Well, if you think about it, we want to set this equal to true whenever we click on the button. So if we scroll down here to the bottom, this is where we click on the button. Now, what we want to do is set it to be true after this validate right here, because we don't want to show the loading screen if we're just doing a bit of validation in Flutter where it shows those errors. If it's valid and we're making that request to Firebase, at that point, we want to show the loading screen. So let's change the loading property to be true here. So I'll say set state, and then inside this, we take another function, and this function inside is going to say loading is equal to true. Okay, so that's all we're doing. We're setting the loading flag to be true. Now, at what point do we want to set it back to false? Well, if an error comes back from Firebase, we want to show the form again because they have to re-enter their credentials or something like that. So at that point, we no longer want to show the loading widget. Instead, we want to show the form again. So if we get null, after the response comes back at this point, we can set the state again so that loading is then equal to false. So we already have set state here. Let's bring this down onto a separate line like so and down here and inside here, we can now set the state of the loading property as well and set that equal to false again. Okay, so once we have 
a response. If it's null and we want to show the form again, we then set loading to false. So now we're switching the value of this loading property from true to false and back again. Now, at the minute, if we save this and try it out, nothing's going to happen because although we're changing the value of this, we're not actually doing anything else thereafter. So what we want to do now is figure out a way to show the loading screen instead of all of this scaffold stuff and everything inside it if loading is true. And we can do that by using a ternary operator. So I'm going to say return, then loading to evaluate loading. So this is either going to be true or false. And if it's true, then we want to return the loading widget. So we'll say loading like so, and it's going to auto import that for me up here. We can see loading and then we do a colon and then the other widget we want to return if this is false. So that makes sense. If loading is true, it means something's loading in the background and we want to show the loading widget. If loading is false, it means nothing's loading and we want to show the scaffold widget and everything else inside it, the form. So let's save this now and try it out. So I'm going to enter in an email. So let me just enter in any old rubbish, first of all, and then a password and try to sign in. Now we should see the loading widget until we get a response back. And at that point, because we got a response back and it was null and we want to show the form again, at that point, remember, we set loading to be false again. And when loading is false, we're not showing the loading widget, we're showing the scaffold widget. Make sense? Okay, so let's try properly signing in. I'm going to say mario at thenetninja.co.uk and the password was test one, two, three, four, sign in. We see the loading screen and then we see the home screen because we got that user back and it redirects us to the home screen. Okay, so that's cool. That's the signing page done. We need to do a similar thing now for the register page. So let me cross this off and open up the file tree and open up register. So the first thing we need to do is create a Boolean again. So let's say bool and loading and set it equal to false to begin with. Again, we need a way to change this to true when a user makes a request to register. So down here, again, inside this onPressed function, after the validate check, we're going to set the state. So set state, and inside there, we need a function. And inside the function, we're going to say loading is equal to true. And then down here again, after we get a result of null, we want to turn loading back to false so we see the form again. So let me get rid of this arrow and open up my curly braces instead. And down here, let me add my curly brace at the end. And we also want to change the loading property to be equal to false again. So we do show that form. So let me save this. I'm going to log out now. And in fact, I'm going to refresh up here. Then I'm going to go to the register screen this time. I'm going to try and enter in any old rubbish to begin with and register. We should see the loading screen. Oops, it says, please supply a valid email. So let's now say Sean at the net ninja.co.uk. And I'm just going to say test one, two, three, four again. So I can remember it. Test one, two, three, four register. We should see the loading screen. Okay, it was infinitesimal. So we didn't really see it at all because it was so quick, but we should have seen the loading screen if it was true. And in fact, no, we shouldn't have done because I've stupidly not added the loading screen over here. We just still return the scaffold. So schoolboy error, I need to now check loading here. So my mistake, we're going to evaluate loading, then return either the loading widget. So loading if it was true. And then if not, return the scaffold. So let me try that process again, log out. And this time, let me try a load of gobbledygook first of all, and uh, try to sign in. We get the loading screen, then we get could not sign in with those credentials. Let's go to the register and register a new user. So I'll say Luigi at the net ninja.co.uk and password test one, two, three, four, register. We should see the loading screen, then the home page. Voila, awesome. So this is all working now. We've created a loading widget using Flutter Spin Kit, and we've used that loading widget in both of these forms, the sign in and the register. And it's only showing whenever loading is set to true. And we set it to true when we click on those buttons. We set it back to false again if we get some kind of response with an error. Okay, so there we go. We've done the loading. 
we've finished our sign up and also our signing forms the next thing to do is start to show the data on this screen and to do that we're going to have to talk about Firestore and set up a database so we'll do that in the next video